Mom, I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing. Give me just a moment. <laughs> I'm out here with one of my favorite guns, the Concept XR. I haven't used it in forever. It's my Christmas painted gun because it's green and red. But uh, I just thought it looked a little too tactical with the green and black. So I put a red uh, suppressor on it so that I would look a little more safe. But um, I pulled it out because last time we were over here, we ended up having to take a few more shots than I'd like on some of the large ones. So I brought a little bit stronger gun to handle the big boys, and I just found one. We just got on property. We've gotten 67 iguanas, 67, excuse me, 67 iguanas. And so we only need 33 more to complete the contract. And I just found number 30, I mean, uh, number 68. I think I'm gonna sit for this. See him right here through this. Haven't shot this gun in a year. Yes, that's why we brought the concept. The atomic doesn't bring that kind of power, and these big boys need it. Almost got back up on us. Look at this boy, he has no tail. Hang on. Okay, guys, this big boy, look at how he has no tail. He's got this little nubby thing for a tail. Goodness. But he's normally a huge iguana. They just stole all of his tail right down to the base. That's not that common for such a big one. Notice the shot went straight in the ear and I dropped one in the top of his head. So the concept is still on point. I have an Aztec first focal plane, uh, 5.5 to 25 by 50. I think this is the Aztec Emerald uh, FFP if I remember correctly. I can't remember all my scopes. <laughs> Okay guys, I just wanted to show y'all how gnarly this iguana is. Not only is he missing his tail at the base, he's grown a new tail, but something stole it. But something also took his foot. He's missing an entire foot. And this is one of his hemipenes hanging out. So he's also missing some of his manlyhood. So this iguana has just had the roughest life. I think we might have done him more of a favor than anything. We got a big old iguana that just went up the backside of this tree. Take that. just went up right You here mean the swing. one that walked along the ground and is now in the bush? He's in the bush? Where? Right here. Oh, they're fighting! There's two big iguanas fighting! They just ran off that way. They're gonna be out your window. And he chased off another one. He chased a big green one like across the street. There it is on the sidewalk that he chased. I'm gonna try to go shoot the one on the sidewalk. This area was complaining about all the big iguanas over here. Got him too. Look at these guys. Man, so this is the one, the aggressor that was chasing the other one. Look how he's just so beautiful and color it up for breeding season. I'm gonna run go grab the other one and show him to y'all too. This is the one that lost the fight that was trying to get away. Got him in the ear. I think I just spotted number 71. 
Look at this. Unsuspecting iguana. Traveling through the grass. Pull up on him like this. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta get you right now. Things we don't see. And yet, there he is. Trucks me hard, filming myself. My cameraman is falling asleep on me. I'm just too good at this by myself. Got you, you stinking at work. Look at that. Got you a guana. Sleeping cameraman. There's a giant orange iguana right here. You see his head poking over? Probably just under 20 yards. Trying to get that eye shot. right over him. Hit it again. There he comes. Oh, yeah. This is a big boy right here. Still got a lot to him. The shots I was hitting were right behind the eye and I needed to get him closer to the eye. I could see that I was hitting him here, here. I got him right here that's just fat and right here, but those are not kill shots. This usually is. I think this might have been the shot I got last. I brought the concept thinking that would stop that, but I guess not. The, these guys are just beasts. Look at this wound he's healed from. You could tell that's another giant iguana bit him here. He's got an entire indentation here where another iguana bit him. Let's check out how tall he is. Remember, I'm 5'9". Tail tip on the ground. He's a big boy. Got you a clock. Okay, so there's a large iguana up there to the right. Um, if you follow these branches out, he's real dark, like he had not in the sun today. Probably only 15 yards. I'm actually turning my power down on this. The concept has four power settings, not three like that uh, at all. I'm on the second to lowest power setting. Holding just over his head. I got him, but he's probably going to sink right where he landed and I won't get to recover him. Sometimes they come back up. We're going to watch and see. Got that iguana though. This iguana tree here is full of iguanas. There's a giant orange one coming down, green one's going up, a little green one on the side of the tree, and one on the ground. Can you show them the ones, the orange one up at the top and come down? You see him up there? Mm -hmm. They're moving away, and the one's up high. I'm gonna try to go for this orange boy that's way up there real quick. Got him. Just fell out the tree. Oh, look at him on the ground. He's huge. There's another one going up right there. She caught it in the jaw. Caught it in the head. Look at her fall. Concepts coming through, but I'm out of pellets. I need to reload. What I'm going to do instead, because they're all on the ground. You see the three big iguanas on the ground? Man, these guys are huge. I'm going to set this down, start up the truck. We're going to ride closer, and we're going to hit them with the atomic. Back up here. I'm going to pull up and 
stay in the truck so they don't run on us. If we get out, these iguanas will run. So we're gonna pull up this way. Man, this is going to be a trophy iguana on the ground. Look at his colors. Look at all the iguanas up ahead in the grass. still going up the tree I'm gonna to cut towards the lake and then I'm gonna cut back towards the building so I can take the shots look at our iguanas up ahead cutting towards the building hopefully they don't run on me oh this is beautiful look how big she is that's a big birth of female right there Loading up a fresh mag. We have air. This iguana's about 12 yards. Right, we have crazy coming out. I already hear her. I already hear her. She's back behind us. They feed the iguanas right here. And this is where I've had a woman freak out before. So hopefully she doesn't come back out. Look, we got three iguanas in a row right here. Three in a row. Shot over it because I'm trying to get that eye shot. Got it. Rolled him. Hold on for just a second. I'm going to reload. We got an iguana right here. Got that one. Don't think this one's all the way down, so I'm going to take another shot. back up the truck. Crazy's not behind me or anything, is she? No. Okay. We've got one right here to the left of the ones we just shot. Standing up, you see the bright green iguana? Got him, he's asleep. Ma'am, I'll address you in just a moment when I'm done. There. I'm going to pull up and go get those other ones. Ma'am, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. Give me just a moment and I'll finish and I'll come back and talk to you. I'm coming to get them. I'm coming to get them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm glad you understand. I'll be right back. Look at these. We got two more big ones and a giant one right there. This is the house of the crazy woman that we're in front of right now. She's just another extra crazy. That one's down. And we have another real big one right here. We can pull up and get this. And this was the most productive moment we have had here in a minute. So we're going to go deal with her being upset about it, but we're still going to go pick up all those iguanas. He's out too. Let's go pick up the carnage. Iguanas. We got so many just now, y'all, and they're all huge. I mean, all edible iguanas. Leave the truck here and just bring the iguanas back away from her place. That'll probably be the smartest thing. Got you, iguanas. Okay, guys, I'm going to go pick up the iguanas, but I do have that lady that's upset about it. So I'm going to keep recording because I'm expecting her to really throw a fit about it. So, look at all these giant iguanas. Look at these shots. Eye shot, eye shot, eye shot. We still have some big, big ones across the water, y'all. Look across the water. Look at that beast over there. Goodness, he's got other big iguanas around him, but he is a monster. All right, got these. These are huge iguanas too, actually. Nobody's small, and I have that trophy boy over there at the bottom of that tree that lady's upset about. He is a monster. I hope she didn't take my iguana. All right, let's go get him. Oh, we got a little straggler over here, but I didn't bring the gun because I don't want to upset the lady. Okay, I got 
this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. I'm saying guys, there really looks like a whole bunch of girls. Only one of those was male. But mainly we got the giant orange boy. Doing iguana removal. Oh, somebody's going to eat these. I got ice in the back right now. Trinidadians love them along with a whole lot of ethnicities. I've seen white, black, brown, purple people eat them. <laughs> They're good food. They're like chicken. <laughs> Yo, look at him. Look at him. He's huge. I don't want to upset the lady, so I'm going to talk about him when I get away from her house. They're really heavy. Probably gonna back the truck up to come pick them up. There's more. There's more in the tree too. Pretty positive they feed them here. And that's why this spot is so successful. Is they, the big iguanas learn to come to this spot and eat up whatever they throw to them. And sometimes they feed them some stuff that's really bad for them. One person told me they saw where they were feeding them rice in this neighborhood. So rice is probably not the ideal food for iguanas. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. We just got 16 iguanas in just about an hour and a half, which I'm super happy with because we only had like five or six. And then we came across that whole herd of iguanas, mess of iguanas. If you didn't know a group of iguanas, it's called a mess of iguanas. So we were able to pull some big boys with this Concept XR, which I just love to use. It's kind of the same as the Atomic, but a little bit stronger and a longer barrel. Well, that's where the strength comes from. And then um, the Concept, I mean, the Atomic was able to pull some of the closer iguanas because we rode right by them at the edge of the water and pulled those last 10. So super happy with those. The giant boy that fell out the tree is right here. Look at this boy. Tip of the tail is on the ground, and I mean, he's almost as tall as me. So we always talk about measuring them, but we never do it. So we're gonna do it right now. I have a really crummy hanging scale, and I'm gonna see if I can find a spot to hang him from. Not sure where I'm gonna get away with that. In the past, I've hung them by their dewlap. So I might have to do that in just a second. So we got this tape measure together so that we can get y'all an accurate length on this big boy. Um, I always talk about measuring them, but I never actually do it. We're gonna take what's called the snout to vent length. That means from the nose to the only hole they have is only vent. So from the tip of his nose to his vent, he's right around 21 inches. That airplane's just messing me over. So snout to vent, he's 21 inches because a lot of iguanas can lose their tail. So that still gives you a comparison number, but let's get his full length on him. I think he's longer than my tape measure. That's 60 inches. That means he is... He is 70 inches long. This iguana is really, really long. I'm going to poke a hole in his dewlap right here so that I can hang him on my hanging scale. See if I can't get you all a, a good number for his weight as well. Hang on for just a moment. All right, guys, so I cut a hole in his dewlap so that we could hang him on this little luggage scale here that I've got. Looks like he's coming up just around 10 pounds. So that's why we're always telling y'all they're around 12, 14 pounds when they're the really huge ones, because it's really rare that you get over about 10 or 11 pounds on an iguana. I've met people that swore they had a 30 pound iguana. I want to see it because the biggest one I've ever gotten was 14.0. So, got these iguanas, super happy with them. We already have ice in the truck. People are eating these just like they ate the rest of these. And of course, 16 plus the 67, we're awfully close to that 100 count. Hope you get to stay with us. Thanks for watching.
just walked up. This tree is trying to get a few little weeds and he wants to beat him. And look at him walking up there already. He just pulled up. We need 13 iguanas to be able to finish this 100 iguana job off. And I think this guy's about to be number 88. Where's he at? He's about 20 yards. Okay, I got him clear now. Shot over. Popped him in the head, he's dangling for us. This is Bougainvillea that when I first started working here four years ago, a lady lived here and was struggling to keep it alive. The iguanas were just killing it. Whenever they've eaten it too much, it makes these little knobs on the end because it keeps trying to make new leaves and it gets all gnarly on the ends, but um, it lost the battle. It died, it's completely dead. It just has a couple air plants living on it now. Check out our dangle. Number 88. Look at, oh, did our guy just fall? Is that that noise was? Yeah, look. Got you a guana. There he is, he's right at the bottom of the tree. I think I got him. I got him, he's about to fall in the water. He's right there at the base of the tree. So another one went up this tree. What do you see? Oh, right here. Okay. Holding five. I think we got him. And what? Step back. Huh? Step back. Can you see him? Can you see him? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. I got him. Here it comes. So the shot I just took. Ah! Sorry. Right here. It came up and came out the side of his head here. A little bit of an awkward shot like that. So, and then the other one. Right here. It's actually a pretty hefty female. And you should have a third of one. So today we're using our JSB Exact Jumbo Heavy Diabolos. Um, I'm reading it right off the can, 18.13 grains. I've got the one that was down here at the base of the tree that I was having trouble getting. Here it is. Got two more and then the one we got over there. So we've gotten four. We've only been here a few minutes. I had a large one jump in the water and swim across. We're going to watch for it. The sun's going down on us fast. So stick with us. We have nine more iguanas to get. Just threw down our four iguanas, and here's our brownish orange one on the third branch up. One, two, three. He's just looking at us, sitting on the horizontal branch, kind of towards the water. Um, probably just under 20 yards, or right around 20 yards. I'm shooting on high power. I do, in fact, have air, so let's go. in the water. See so fast right here. Let's see. I don't see him at all. So guys, we lost that one to the water. We cannot find him. He gets pretty deep there. So if we follow up the split, he's right above the split at it on a branch going away from us. Big orange male is maybe 20 yards away. He recently saw us. Now he started head bobbing. I'm going to wait for him to look this way. We have people across the water. I'm going to change it. Here he is. You can come stand right behind me and still see me. Let me know when you have him in screen. There's a second of one closer to us right here. Let me get the big boy first. Let me know when you have him. Mm -hmm. 
It's flipped upside down, and here it comes. He's bitching on us. Oh, the water smells fragrant over here, like iguanas from before. <laughs> Got this big boy though, single shot. Real happy with that. And there's another iguana right above us. Let's see if we can get it too. Okay guys, so we got our orange boy. Check him out. And his friend is right here on this first branch going away from us. Do you see it? Looking down at us, it's almost where the trunk is touching us. One of those giant ants mm -hmm. was just on me too. Okay. He's probably about 12 yards. Shooting on high power. Shot through its leg and it messed up the shot. Got him. He's not even fall, but he's kind of hung up on his branches there. I'm gonna give him a second to fall. This iguana snagged himself on this branch here and didn't 100% coming down for us. We wanted. We have a still kick about it. Looks like we got one below the eye and one right behind the eye right here. So it's got this iguana. We're gonna put another one on top of his head. We're gonna find just a few more iguanas and we'll be done. Okay, here's an, here's an iguana right here. Right now we've only gotten six in hand. We've lost two to the water. I have a branch as a backstop right here. The iguana's about 15 yards now. Hang on. So there was a second iguana that I spotted. I might have to go to the other side to figure out where I saw it. Let me just knock this guy down because I want to try to recover him. I've seen a second iguana up here. There it is, right above me. While we wait for that one to fall, let's get this one. If you look right up above, it's the highest mm -hmm. branch up. You see it? People that are worried about me shooting straight up, there's only water out in front of me. Hang on. Oh, here's my following one. Sunk. Check our shot. See no evil. Other iguana right there. Really? Oh, Do you see he switched feet? He's hanging by a single toe. Yeah. Like a true dangler right there. Alright. Go ahead. So, it fell in the water. I had to grab it right away. This is the one that's been dangling up there. Just to give you an idea of the type of shots, I mean, I blew off, literally blew off some of the top of his head. They were just head shots over and over. Iguanas just hang on for some reason. So I did end up taking a pelvis shot. You can see I hit them right between the pelvic bones. I'm just trying to make them let go and fall. It worked eventually, but it takes a while and then you end up losing some. So we got two more plus the six over there. We got eight, eight plus our 67 I think we were at. So we're at like 95. We literally need five iguanas, but the sun's going down. 
So we might grab the five, the last five iguanas tomorrow just when we pull up. So stick with me and I hope to show you all hundred iguanas. Thanks for watching Iguana Solutions. Hey guys, of course we got those eight iguanas and while we're leaving, I spotted a ninth iguana up here in the tree. He's a nice orange and brown male. I think it's still spotty. It's right here, it's right here. He's about 15 yards away. He's working his way down that branch. You see him moving? And wait for no traffic. Hold on. Get him in this eye, but not in the other one, so of course he can still survive that way. So I'm gonna get him now. Got that iguana, gonna put him down from the top. That means we need four more tomorrow, and we're done. Hey guys, we ended up getting a total of 96 iguanas ending yesterday, and then the sun was just going down on us. Um, excuse my face, I just left the dentist, and I am completely numb on this entire side of my face. So, um, I need four iguanas, like one, two, three, four. So, around this corner, I saw a big orange one right before I pulled up a moment ago. So, let's go see if we can find him. And I think he has a green friend on the bank. Should be just around this corner. I'm probably not going to be able to zoom in these shots for y'all. Two are going us at the front. Shooting and filming, so pardon me. Got him at the fence. That iguana keeps moving down, but the first one's still right here. Look, there's that iguana right there. We're gonna see if we can't go in the fence and go get the orange one that I saw. There, that's that shot. Got you, Iguana. Yo, I'm about to go get him over there. He's across the water. This Iguana's only like 10 yards away. Trying to account for the fence. Got it. Got that iguana. That's very kind of you. I did. I got him. He's out. I can hold the camera if you want me to. Iguana kick. yards away. Got him. That was a close shot. You hear him in the trees? I'll zoom out real quick. Sorry for this terrible footage, but got this iguana too. So all those were single shots. There's a little guy right in front of me, but there's a big orange one across the water. I'm gonna try to go get as my last iguana. That should have been 99 I just got. Okay, across the water, because that's where the yellow or orange boy is. He's gonna make number 100 if we get him. So I hope we get him. He is, he's up ahead. should be right around this corner. Probably only gonna be like a 15 yard shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and account for that. Our orange boy's right here, guys. Just sitting in the corner. There he is. 
Jesus. Number 100! <laughs> Happy with that. One shot worked out nicely there. Got that iguana. <laughs> Number 100. He's not a bad 100 to get. Got that iguana. All right, guys, stick with us. We're gonna have lots more fun. The competition in North Florida is December 1st and 2nd, so I'll show you all that whenever it happens. Warning, I'm terrible at that event, so don't judge me. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at him, just hanging out, thinking nobody sees him. About to change that. Get him with the atomic. Where'd he go? He's already on the ground. Look at him getting away. Let me see if I can turn around. Y'all still see him? Oh, he's about to be in front of a tree for a nice backstop. He's like 15, not quite 20 yards. Walk in front of that tree for me, buddy. Walk in front of that tree. Walk in front of the tree, dang it. Oh, he's running. Look at him. Y'all see him? Look at that iguana. What's he doing? We see you, buddy. Just trying to get a better backstop here. No shooting AC units. That bottle palm will do. Where's he at? Hitting branches in front of him. My parallax. This little guy, I mean, this guy's about 10 yards away now. How about that shot? Here he is. Got you, iguana. Oh, that looks like a Thanksgiving iguana if I ever saw one. We might have to catch and cook this boy. Got you, Thanksgiving iguana. Check out the shot. See no evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs>